in less than 10 here we're going to go ahead and create our license plate texture and as you can see I'm simply just going to select the model separate it and then I'm going to go ahead and select the main license plate model and apply a UV map in the C direction as you can see through the settings here of the tool go back into object selection mode do the back one here I'm going to go ahead and scale these properly so that we don't have any UV stretching or anything and you know they're fairly simple since it's you know really simple geometry to go ahead and UV map these and I'm going to go ahead and apply a checker texture to them to make sure that our UVs aren't being stretched or anything and right there you can see that our UVs are, are stretched a little bit so I have to adjust and, and edit the, the UVs in the 0 to 1 space here or in the UV editor and I'll simply scale them down trying to make sure that they're all uniform and I'm going to go ahead and scale these down to make sure that they're both inside the 0 to 1 space in the UV editor here and I'm just adjusting them to make sure that the uh, lines are even on all sides of the, the UV coordinates being mindful to try and make sure that I'm not stretching or uh, making the UVs bad in any way and now you can see that I'm going to go ahead and export my UV map here at 4096 and this is going to make it easier easier for me to actually overlay a texture onto the UV coordinate here and I'm just selecting the UV map that I exported and the texture that I'm going to be use, using and bring those into Photoshop here and I can simply just fill the background for the UV map as black here so I can overlay the UV map onto the actual texture so I can see what I'm doing being mindful to rename the layer so that I can discern which is which and now I'm just selecting a good portion of the, the UV or I'm sorry the texture to go ahead and overlay here and I'm going to use the poly on lasso tool and I'm going to draw basically a line around the texture that I want or the portion of the texture that I want and that didn't work too well so I'm just going to use the uh, select rank rectangle tool I'll go ahead and bring that over and I definitely am going to have to scale this up to fit the UV space just trying to be careful to get the actual license plate texture in there and not any portion of the white and I'm going to overlay the, the UV to make sure I can line this up properly and I'm turning down the fill layer there just so I can cut off the excess of what I don't need
You just have to be a little bit careful of, you know, how you go ahead and do this. And the good thing here is we only need to go ahead and texture one and then we can just simply duplicate the layer and adjust it as we need. And I just simply downloaded the license plate image off of Google. And it's actually probably somebody's uh, actual license plate, so um, I don't know. I mean, it's not mine, so it's just an image I downloaded off of Google. And now you can see I'm going to go ahead and select all the excess here and just infer it to selection. And I'll go ahead and delete that off, and there is our license plate texture for the front one and I'll just go ahead and turn the fill all the way back up hit control or uh, alt and drag so I can go ahead and duplicate that layer so we then have two of the same license plate textures I'm always going to save a PSD image of the file so that I can edit it if needed later on. And then I'll save a JPEG with which I'll use to apply that to our model. And I'm going to go back into Maya here to make sure that this is all correct and being placed properly here. I'm just going to use a V-Ray shader, as you can see. Plug in a file node. And then I'm going to go ahead and set the image. And then I'll go ahead and apply this to our model. And you can see our back license plate here is not laid out properly so I need to go ahead and flip the normals just double checking to see our shaded UVs and you can see that that's red so I need to flip the UVs and there's our license plate laid out properly and our front license plate looks fine and there we have our license plates textured I'm just double checking to, to make sure that this is proper and, and right and it, if it looks fine to me and now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of reflection onto the the actual shader not too much because I don't want it to be extremely reflective I want to be a little bit rough there and that'll be fine and there's our license plate textured